Okay, welcome back to another episode of our Guild Wars 1 playthrough. This is our Prophecies uh, mini-series where we're going through Soros Furnace. In the last episode, we just arrived at the Deldramore War Camp, and now we're actually going to go inside Soros Furnace. Uh, I'm going to be running a... I'm going to be running the Illusionary Weapon rebuild again. And I had this idea I've been kicking around of running this blackout skill since it's going to be, uh, since it's a touch skill and we're going to be melee. So I don't know if it'll work out well. We're also not really spamming abilities. So I think once we get off illusionary weaponry, we can use blackout and just kind of auto attack them to death. Uh, but yeah, let's get our, let's get our team here that looks about right we're not bringing a cap of signet because there's not really any there's no more mesmer skills to cap so yeah we're going to be doing the first soros mission which is to talk to this galen trask guy he's got a task galen trask has a task <laughs> for us uh okay has a task for us to, to do in soros furnace um, basically a lot of these spells I'm not really going to be using, like I'm not going to be spamming a whole lot. I need to make sure I'm switching between my, my, uh, see like on, I should have used blackout on him just a second ago to stop him from using that attack. Oof. Yeah, this damage is pretty sick. Alright, so how do we get down there? Um, it looks like... Looks like we need to go... Right? Yeah, we just need to go down. Yeah, there he is down there. It looks like the fastest route... Down that way. We're gonna go right. Oh yeah, I don't need to keep casting Illusion of Weakness. I keep forgetting about that. Let's use Blackout on these guys. See, instant fail. And it only lasts for five seconds, so... They should, we should be able to kill... We should be able to take them out of the fight within those five seconds. So essentially, they're useless. close blackout no abilities it's just a one skill shutdown and then if if melee attackers come at us we got sympathetic visage for them visage i think it's a pretty i think it's pretty pretty good build just hacks them up silently there you go I guess it's good to use against warriors too, because I mean it, it makes all of their skills disabled. So it's it shuts down casters, shuts down warriors. Pretty good. A lot of these same NPCs appear in um, Eye of the North as well. The other cool thing about these bosses here is they all drop green weapons. So while we're going through here, I'm hoping that we have some opportunities to see some of the green weapons added. Actually, I should use Blackout right when he starts channeling his stomp, but either way, he dies within five seconds anyway. 
I'm really excited to use again use this against monks. Five seconds of being unable to cast any spells is an eternity for a monk. But there's yeah, we need to we need to pull these back a little bit. I don't wanna I don't wanna fight all those guys at once. Okay, now we're good to go. I cast Arcane Penungrim on him. Then Blackout. No skills for you. The cool thing about Blackout is it's a skill, it's not a hex, so it also cannot be it cannot be removed. And our monks are casting tons of enchantments on us. There's not really any chance of illusionary weaponry getting um, removed. Alright, Galen Trask. He looks very creepy. Trask the name. Perhaps you've heard of me. I'm quite well known in these parts. Ennis asked me. Find some worthy volunteers opposed to slaves. Aha. Right, we gotta we gotta pretend to be slaves. So this is more of like a scouting mission. I think from this point on, there's not going to be much fighting actually, just kind of running around. Oh, I cast it out of time. Anyway, he's gone. No more boss no more bosses around here. It's a shame. Okay, Soros Furnace. Here we go. I kinda wanna take a quick screenshot of that. Hold up. Okay. Let's go. Okay, we need to talk to him again to start it, I guess. Alright, here's the plan. Our dwarf friends mentioned five locations. The Stone Basilica, Dark Haven, Sorrow's Belly, The Gap, and Iron Ark. We'll need to scout each one, then return. We're gonna put you in an enchantment on you. Put an enchantment on you. Uh, I'm gonna sell you to Taskmaster Iron Boot over there. you have to follow him to the slave pins. Once you're inside, you're on your own. Okay. How do we get out of here, though? Are the stone summon only in Guild Wars 1, or are they also in Guild Wars 2? Humans are overrated. Why they expect to be fed daily? You look like you've already enchanted them, so I suppose you can't use them if the price isn't too dear. Okay. Strong and healthy. 100 gold each. You know I can't possibly take less than 300 gold for each of them. Oh, he's negotiating for us. We'll give you 200 each and that's that. Take it or be gone, will ya? The bone is getting uh, impatient. You scallywag. You've called my bluff. The slaves are yours. Now pay up so I can be on my way. He's making some money from it. Or we have chains of enslavement on us. So just like that, we're slaves. Flame Whip. Finish his task and you might be of some help. So there's actually some sub-quests in here. Is he stuck?
weird when I double click on him. I think his I think his skin is stuck. When I double click on him, it takes me in the opposite direction. I think he's bugged out. See, and then I just stop here. Here. Anyway. There he goes. He's moving now. Oh, what is he doing? This is a crazy glitch. He's just phasing through. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, so he's he's apparently right here. That's where I, that's where I double click. Here he is. Are they talking to each other? <laughs> it's so weird. Okay. Yes, he's done. I'll talk to Crack Flame. Wow, there's a ton of them. You don't do what I tell you when I tell you as fast as I tell you. Or I should beat you, whip you, and feed you to the moles. Got it. Okay. I guess we should do all of these. We do them one at a time. Comet slaves. That's the one we want to do. They're kind of an. I guess we just accept all of them. But these we actually have to fight, I guess. Alright. Let's just follow Summit Slaves, and then while we're doing Summit Slaves, when we come across the submissions, sub-quests, we'll do those. So, I need a gearbox. Take a gear, put it in the gearbox to open these up, I think. Yeah. Like, not the right way though. It looks like I gotta go that way, right? Oh, never mind. Can't go that way. I mean, we're gonna scout all over this anyway. Normally, these guys are all enemies. We have to fight our way through here. But this mission lets us safely explore. Things aren't running as smoothly as they used to around here. I think it might be old flame while it's gone soft. Okay. Pin or ingots. I guess I get them by fighting. Stone summit, summit, help us though. That's good. Let me make sure I get my illusion of weakness on. Oh, I over aggro, didn't I? Let's pull them back to Stone Summit. Okay, they're helping us. It'll be okay. Yeah, this illusionary weaponry makes us really tanky. We get plus 30 armor because we have plus five for each illusionary skill, illusion skill. Pretty nice. Let me shut down this shaman really quick. Blackout. Ritualist? Oh, never mind. It's spirit keeper, so I thought it was ritualist.
There's too many healers here. I'm gonna cast Sympathetic Visage on... Or on Sin, I mean. This is just the first mission though. Oh right, they resurrect each other down here. That could be annoying. collect four I think one two how many do I have only got two Where's all the ore? I only have two. Yeah, the DPS of this, single target DPS of this build is really crazy. First one, gathering resources. That's what I'm doing right now. Can I get more from these boxes? No, it's empty. Okay. Wow, this is going to take some time, actually, I think. Easy to get lost here. What does this Tooth Cog do? Okay. Did something. Master here. Maybe we'll find more, or I don't know. Oh, okay. I did. I completed the one already. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just keep going. Went the wrong way. There's gonna be a lot of backtracking in this mission, I think. Oh, there's another ore box. Yeah, so far, like, most of the... Definitely need to bring running skills in Soros Furnace, I guess. to the right way.
Oh, I'm just gonna have to get ore as I'm going. Okay, so we're on track to somewhere. So glad we don't have to fight all these people. Wow, we gotta go all the way down there. You just keep spamming on my button. You just keep the mini map open, I guess. Most of these enemies, yeah, they're all level 24. They have warriors, monks, and rangers, pretty much, is the party composition of all of them. Take the shaman shamans out first because they have resurrect. Maybe not. Spike, spike traps. <laughs> Healing him from this far away. Dredge are fighting the, each other. He, oh no, I do have protective spirit and shielding hands on. But with those plus my 30 armor, I'm pretty tanky. Nothing really hurts. And it's kind of funny because the AI gets me because I'm supposed to be squishy because I'm just a mesmer but they target me over the warriors it seems I'm not as squishy as they think boss here hola chef Why are the summit aggro here? That priest of Soros is supposed to be on our side. enemies here.
Yeah, he's friendly and he's an enemy. It's kind of weird. So, I defeated Molochev. I've gotten two of the submissions. I've got three more left. Pushing all the wrong buttons. Now we need to backtrack all the way back. So I'm going to speed through this to backtrack. Bear with me. Okay, we backtracked all the way back, to almost the beginning, and now we need to do this Scout the Gap. These Frost Golems are really annoying. It's gonna suck to have to fight them later. The dredge, the dredge really are not bad, right? They're the they're the slaves of the summit. So we're having to fight them. Guess we're bad. that guy's life oh oh no oh I didn't know it kills me oh my gosh Oof. why why does it kill me again oh we get ice this way Why are they running under there? Oh my gosh. Oh. My henchmen don't die to that. That's weird. Time it right. I don't know how many I need. Get out of there. How many do I need for the cold one? Combine enough ice with the warm one. I don't know how many I need. I'm just going to get all of them, I guess. Jeez. Imagine if it wiped their whole party. need how many more I need five more so we're halfway with the uh the ore what are these things even doing they're just smashing the ground stressful man if we wiped there I would have been I would that would have just given up on Soros and Soros furnace like nope not worth it two more oh here they are the last two Mm-hmm. 
Boom. Got the last pin. Okay. Now I just need to do fire in the hole. Which is over there. And the cold one, which is back over that way. So let's just... Oh. Only one more place, too. Okay. So let's do cold one, I guess. Well, I got... Yeah. I guess let's do fire in the hole then. They take us the same place. Just about. They're close to each other. Where are my ice things? Oh, there's the ice cubes. So I should go like this. Oh, okay. You need like five, I guess. There's now a cold one. I'll go ahead and turn this one in and this one in. Hold on. Wrenches in that one and that one. Now. Gathering resources, I can go turn this in in on the way. The last one. Not so bad. Just a lot of backtracking. Barn stone rift. He needs the ore. fire in the hole. Now that we have all this mapped out, it's going to be easier whenever we come back for the other quest and for the main, um, the main mission or quest or whatever. I don't think we have to reveal it every time. Dredge Manifesto Collector. Role of Heroes Insight. Pretty good. And that dredge is getting bombarded. Go to the place where the flame digin was last seen. Oh, that's it. No skills for you. Well, you can still cast that. Oh. I guess that consuming flames is technically not a skill. It's just an attack. Okay, finish that one now. 
the last scouting. Just need to go right over here. They're still fighting over here. These furnace guardians, level 28, they're gonna be pretty tough. Alright, let's head back. We'll do another speed run. Oh, what's attacking me? Oh. Alright, I'm gonna speed this up again. Backtracking all the way back. Oh, not this way. I need to go down there. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speed run it then. Oh uh, this Well played. I shouldn't have gone this way. <laughs> Seems like the henchmen are immune to this smashing, though. That's good to know. Okay, for real, speeding up, going back to where we were. Backtracking speed run now. Finishing Crack Flame Whip subquest. There's really no reason not to do these quests, even though they're only 1500 experience. They're on the way to do all the stones. And look, we gotta level up. Not bad. And then we finish by talking to Galen Kra Trask. And we did completed. We will complete the first quest of Sorrow's Furnace. I think there are only. How many more after this? I guess we'll find out. Or I can check here. Only three more after this. Excellent work. This ought to go some ways towards compensating you for what you've been through. 2,000 experience. What about all the, what about all the gold he got for selling us? Did he think we forgot about that? I guess we did. He's just giving us experience instead. <laughs> okay. Oh, so he really sells people. He's really a slave trader. Okay. They each their own, I guess. Alright. So each time we have to leave in order to reset the um Thoros Furnace. But well, we can just teleport back to Delta War War Camp because we finished the first quest. And the next one we will do tomorrow, I guess. Anyway, if you like this, leave a like, subscribe, all that. Also, don't forget, we are I'm doing a poll to vote on which campaign you'd like to see me play next. Whether I go all the way, I go up to Eye of the North with this character or factions with this character or actions with the new character. So people are voting. I think at, as of now, um, the vote is winning for me to go to factions with my Mesmer. So if you don't want to see that, make sure you place your vote. And uh, if you do want to see it, then just keep watching. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.